Hello, here we are. Apollo, how are you doing? Dave, what's going on? And Joe, the real outdoorsman. We're here showing you the compass. And this is how we're going to get our path into the woods. And that's where we came from. See that? I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, it must have had some weight because I could stand up on the snow and that thing cut in so it had to be decent weight. Here is our little stream that we found, the drinking water, or whatever else things you need if you don't have a fire to boil water. They're all around this area. See, we're walking right on top of it, actually. And we are hiking through, and it smells like, whew, muck. So we're going to the right direction to get some water. Now you notice Joe's got fluorescent orange on his vest. And the reason for that is because it's actually hunting season here in Rhode Island. When you're on the Great Swamp Management Area, it's required that you wear at least 200 square inches of fluorescent orange from the second week in October all the way to the last day in February. See, Paul's also displaying the orange vest. And I've got the orange hat. 200 square inches is either a vest or a hat. At certain times during the year or certain areas, they require 500 square inches, at which point you will need the hat and the vest in order to display appropriate fluorescent orange. I probably lost it, man. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Hello, here we are. We're here chopping. We're trying to get us some kindling. So we can make a fire. of these. Dave's working on his kindling. We're going to have three different piles of kindling and then we're going to show you how to start that fire. See you in a little bit. Make the fire in. 
my little nest egg. Bring your uh, steel and flint? Yep. I got all that. Yep. Got a cotton ball? Yep. yep. What we're going to be displaying today, which you might have seen before, is the uh, cotton ball method. It's pretty simple. Basically, uh, your standard household cotton balls. Take those and uh, stick them in Vaseline. You can make sure they're good and covered with Vaseline. And when you strike a spark to it, it actually holds a flame similar to a candle wick. I've got my survival kit right here. Little pouch you can see. Three bucks. Flea market. Old U.S. military. Kind of an ammo case or something. And uh, basically just slide out the pouch. And they're pretty snug. That's the kit. It's all contained inside here. Open up the case and you can see an array of items. We'll go over some of them real quick. Just a common, uh, simple one. Is that a compass? Find your direction. It's your navigation right there. You don't get lost. Got the uh, magnesium bar with a flint striker here on the side. Basically you shave off the magnesium. Paul's going to display how to use this, but you shave off some magnesium flakes. Strike it with a piece of iron or steel. A pocket knife. And you get a spark. And you get some other items. Emergency fishing kit. Emergency candle. Uh, what we're really after right now though is the Vaseline saturated cotton balls. I keep them in a baggie. You don't want to get that petroleum jelly all over everything. But, uh, yeah. We'll take this over to Apollo. Let him see. Let him display how to use them correctly. <coughs> Thank you for the cotton balls. Here we are. Here are a couple of these Vaseline balls. And, uh, uh he brought them over to me, so I'm going to take two of them. And show you the correct way to do it. Take one Vaseline ball, put the other one on the side, just in case you don't get a good mic in the beginning. Stick the Vaseline ball in the hole. Open it up. Now I want it open. Stick the Vaseline back in the hole. Scrape off the magnesium. As much as you like. Remember, if you're out here for a while, you don't want to, you want to be proportional with your splint. Oh, this is not something you're going to get right away. It takes practice, a little bit of skill to acquire, and then just a bit of luck. But persistence is what counts in a survival situation. Well, we'll try with the other one. A little more magnesium. Let's give it a little more magnesium. Nice hard strokes like you were doing that other time. That was good. Give it a 
Russia. You see it, want the catch. There you go. There you go. There we go. And success. Like we said, it takes a while. It may take some persistence and a bit of effort. But the advantages are worthwhile. And let's face it, if you were in a survival situation, what option would you have? You have all the time in the world. But no lighter. Now while Apollo lets that get going and starts that up, I'm going to have Joe show you what he's been uh, building over here out of the snow that he's been removing from our fire pit. Put nothing to waste out in a survival situation, but what do you got going on over here, Joe? Trying to build a barrier for the wind. Yeah, but I like this. What is this? Oh, that's my little seat. <laughs> <laughs> that's innovation at its best right here. There's no reason you can't have luxury while surviving. <laughs> Display that there. Look at that. Ah, <laughs> nice with a reclined tree. <laughs> Waste not, want not, huh? Nope. <laughs> well, that's really taking off right there. Fire's coming up nice. <laughs> Now what Joe was saying is that he has built a um, a wall, a containment wall behind the fire here. And that's going to deflect any of the wind or breeze that's coming in towards the camp here or towards the area that we're hanging out in. And it's also going to provide a, a backer for that flame. As that heat and flame rises, it'll hit the snow and, re and reflect directly back to us. No, it's perfect though. Look at it. We've had a couple of unseasonally warm days here, as we said earlier in the video. It's been, uh, yesterday almost peaked to 50 degrees, and today it's, it's got to be up above 35 right now. We're actually quite comfortable now that we're working a little bit, and we've taken those layers off to prevent that hypothermic chill we were talking about. I'm not sweating any longer. I don't think either of these guys are. It's 43 out there, right? 43 degrees right now? 43 degrees, which again is, is pretty warm for February. This fire is basically going to help us dry out any of our gear. You can see that the pants are starting to soak through a little bit. Uh, guy's boots are a bit wet. I'm trudging through the moist snow and the uh, swamp. swamp that's not really frozen anymore, so it's starting to break through. Just another month or so, we'll be camping out in these woods. Or woods just like them. That was it for our trip with the Real Outdoorsman. There's Apollo, Joe, and Dave. We welcome you back anytime. Check out YouTube for our next edition.